Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another awesome amazing episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Lost Island map. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for tuning in, you guys are beautiful amazing people. And let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to know is I still haven't figured out a way to fix the mantis farm. For some very weird reason, any time that I go over here and I start like attacking the mantises that spawn in, all of the female mantises run away. And they won't stop running until the mantis that is like attacking is dead. I've got absolutely no idea why this happens. It doesn't happen with the parasaurs. It just happens with the mantises and that's it. And I've, I, I honestly have no idea why the female mantises just straight up run away. I tried to put walls up to block their like path of running away and that just doesn't work. The only other thing I could think of is possibly putting railings down up here. Um, and that's really it because I can't put anything here or else the babies won't be able to actually drop down. Um, but that's going to be my next plan. You see, there's like mantises just like everywhere because they all ran away for some reason. I still don't know why, but, um, we're going to try to fix that, but I'm going to put that on a back burner for now because I want to get into some other things. I want to tame a Uteranus, um, for multiple reasons. The first reason being, I believe that it will be a good dinosaur to use for an experience farm ding 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 experience farm okay um i don't know how well it's going to go but i'm going to try okay i'm going to try really don't know how well it's going to go that's the first reason the second reason is for the army for the rexes um so we can start using that for boss battles you know what i mean just to boost their morale and make them a little bit stronger um and then the third reason is for a kibble farm because uteranuses are what you're going to use for getting your extraordinary kibble because of the eggs that they drop so they have three very important uses to me and i don't have a single uteranus and i want one now i've never ever tamed a uteranus before um we're probably not going to get into it in this episode but we do have to get into some preparation for the taming of the uteranus by getting rare flowers okay and the reason why we want rare flowers is because for us to get the next tier of dart uh we need to be able to use the rare flowers the only tier that we can craft right now would be this one which is increases the torpidity by 10 uh, times as much however for us to go to the next level we're going to need to have the rare flowers for the 15 as much and then to go beyond that we're going to need to have the rare mushrooms um oh no it's not the rare mushrooms it's actually just the titan bow and venom which i believe we just kill a bunch a bunch of titan boas and we'll get the venom at least i'm hoping that's how it works um hopefully it is if it's not that sucks but if it is then we might actually be able to get the 20 times as much versus the 10 times as much uh just for 10 times 20 times 15 times sake or whatnot but yeah we're gonna need to get ourselves a bunch of rare flowers now there are a few locations on the map inside of the uh inside of lost island um that have rare flowers but we're going to go to the redwoods cave um not cave but the redwoods castle which if you guys don't know that's pretty much kind of in the middle of the map and we're going to be bringing our therizinosaur because our therizinosaur is what's going to actually be harvesting the rare flowers um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head over there we're also going to be riding on our wyvern and while we're going to that location we might as well uh check out the wyvern cave to see if we can get ourselves some other wyverns um that could be high level i'm gonna bring none of you actually i was considering bringing the poison rider poison Ryan is level uh 280 248 now level it up a little bit i've got thirteen thousand health and with a thousand melee damage which i think is pretty damn good um i want to get her up to 1500 health um or fifteen thousand health sorry um but slowly but surely definitely slowly but surely i think this is the ice wyvern that i need to be taking right yep the twenty thousand health yep 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 all right i'm gonna go check out the wyvern cave um and then after that we're gonna go ahead and head over to where the rare flowers are drop our therazina zord down and let it have some fun hopefully nothing attacks us while we're there because uh that would suck but um let's go ahead and check out these caves real fast all right first cave we're gonna be checking out is the lava cave i don't know why i keep saying cave trench these are trenches, right? Or ravines in, in Minecraft turns, uh, I guess. But yeah, first one we're going to be checking out is this one. I don't see anything. I think the last time I checked this out was maybe an hour ago, roughly. So hopefully something has spawned within that, you know, one hour time frame. There's a wild dinosaur there. I mean, uh, a wild fire wyvern. D same difference, but uh, a wild fire wyvern. So there's definitely some things have spawned in here. 
Um, as far as like just lonely wyverns go, nothing inside that nest, sadly. Nothing in any nest, sadly. We might be out of luck this time. Yeah, I'm not seeing a single egg anywhere. We, what? Oh, I thought that was one. We might have some luck up here. No. Yep, doesn't seem like it. I'm going to head over to the ice cave then because we're not getting lucky. All right, so we're here at the ice cave. It's dark time, nighttime, dark time, question mark. Hello. Um, but it's nighttime and uh, yeah, nothing there. It's like the first spot you would always want to check, though. I think that's the only spawn location that's even over there. Um, is my brightness up? Hello? Uh, oh, it is up. Wow, it's just really dark. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but yeah, there's an egg over there, which is exciting. Can we find another one? Doesn't seem like it, but I'm happy with just one egg. Better than nothing, that's for sure. Now, if you could be level like 190 or something like that, that would be even better. Level 20. Awesome. We're going to take you from your family so we can eat you and they can make another one because we need something higher uh, than level 20, my good friend. We definitely need something higher than level 20. Now, as far as the cave situation goes, let me see what's in here. Nope. Nope. I'm not even going to kill you. There's no point. Yep. And nope. Yep. Nothing here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take a nice little stroll over to the Redwoods so we can get ourselves some of these rare flowers. And I can actually show you guys the location as well. Um, but yeah, I'll check you guys back once we're over there. So, guys, in this location, um, it's like in the middle of the map, pretty much. If you can see through my my uh, my fur gauntlet here, it's the island in the middle of the in in the middle of the redwoods, um, inside of this this castle situation here. Um, if you go over to one of these houses, where is it? Yeah, that house right there. You'll see what is. Oh my gosh, there's dipples. There's so many. There's so many things down there. It's we're gonna have to go down there. I'm glad I brought my wyvern, so I'm a little bit confident, but. In the back end of that house, you'll see there's like a garden. And inside of this garden is the rare flowers. Um, we might be able to take a closer look while everything is being distracted here. But yeah, there's the rare flowers, little garden. All we gotta do now is kill uh, those guys. Which is probably not gonna be too difficult. Oh, 135. Wow. All right, there we go. Um, there's still like a terror bird and everything over there, but we might be okay. I don't know. The more we think about it, the more chances of them actually coming over here and killing us. So let's just not think about it and go ahead, throw out the Derezinosaur and get to the hunting or the, the mining of uh, rare flowers here. Look at that. 200, 400, 600. We're getting a lot of rare flowers. And we need every last bit of it. The least amount of trips we can make, the better. Um, to be honest, but yeah, this is the location for rare flowers. Make sure if you do come here, make sure you at least have a Therizinosaur, um, and not try to go bare hand because there are very dangerous dinosaurs in this area. Very dangerous. And a Therizinosaur can definitely hold its own, um, versus, you know, a few really strong dinosaurs. So even if you don't have a wyvern like me, you can still come here and, uh, and get, and get you some, get you some things, right? Um, but we got 2,000 from that, along with some fiber, which is not bad at all. Considering, I, I think we only need one to make the narcotics. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. I'm gonna, what level are you? Level 25. I do want to tame a terror bird. 
I have a um, Mastercraft Terror Bird uh, saddle back at home that I want to try to. But look at that. 600 damage, right? Like, that's insane. 600 damage is insane. But yeah, I'm going to collect you. Let's go ahead and go back to the spot. Craft up some, uh, some more of those narcotics and get ourselves some better, better, more improved tranquilizer darts. Now, shall we? All right, so let's go ahead and put these inside of here. And we should be able to make a good amount of... Um, of wait we can't what do we we need wait what oh we need both of these wow so we need not only do we need this narcotic but we also need this narcotic and then you combine both of them to make the big boy narcotic okay i wasn't expecting that interesting um but we do have 300 in here which we're gonna need a lot more uh we have a lot of spoiled meat the only thing we don't have a lot of is the narcotics the narco berries but this should be good to hold us for now 66 is not a lot it's not a lot but that should be good to hold us for now um and then we'll always be ready to make more of these yeah now we can make them okay cool um but yeah but uh, in the meantime because that's gonna take a long time to actually craft those guys craft slow in the meantime i think we're actually gonna attempt to tame a uteranus just attempt um I've never done it before, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. Um, and that's also why I'm going to be bringing my Thylacolio along, because I know the Uteranus will scare the, the tame you're on, right? Um, I'm not sure if that works in the Wyverns, considering the Wyverns are like the big, bad Wyverns. But I know on the Griffin and and um, and on the Argentavis, if you get close to them, they'll scare you away, which is bad, right? And I don't want that to happen to us. So I'm going to fly over there with the Wyvern and I'm just going to see if it works. Um, and if not, then we're just going to take the Thylacolio out, try to knock him out and kill all the Carnals that's around him and be happy and possibly also kill every other team that's around because there's going to be a lot of other teams around. That's for sure. Um, should I bring the Poison Wyvern? I kind of want to just because he's look at him. He's big and bad. 13K health, 1000 melee damage like I don't think anything is going to kill him. You know, he doesn't have the biggest stamina pool in the world. Like 800 stamina is not a lot. Um, either that or lightning wyvern. Nah, lightning wyvern's only got 4k health. Yeah, let's bring a poison wyvern. We're bringing a poison wyvern. This will be our first adventure on a poison wyvern. I was looking all green and missing and amazing looking. Um, but yeah, let's go find ourselves a Uteranus, Um, and, and hope that we could do this pretty much. Yeah. All right. So we're over here and uh, we already found a Uteranus. I don't know what level it is, though. Did it just die? It just died to dire wolves. That's so embarrassing. Either way, I think that's the alpha fire dragon that we are definitely um, not prepared to take on. I don't know what level. I thought it was level 100. I might have been wrong. Oh, no, that's just a regular fire dragon. Never mind. I know the alpha one is over here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't see it, but I think it's somewhere in this location. Either way, we're not looking for that. We're looking for Uteranuses, which we just found one, but it died to dire wolves. Um, embarrassingly died to dire wolves, I must add to that. Um, Sag. But there's a three different Rexes in one location. That's crazy. Oh, we got another one. Yeah, these things spawn f very frequently, I've noticed. What level are you? I can't see anything level 135 that's not bad that was a level 50 135 isn't bad it's i mean i could try i guess the first move would probably be trying to take out the carnos right realistically which is going to be is Okay, so my dinosaur feels uneasy, but I could still attack on him. There we go. I'm, I'm assuming that wasn't the high level one. I'm hoping. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay, cool. Um, There's no Carnos. I mean, except this one. Okay, the rest is just dire wolves. Is he boosting the dire wolves? I'm so confused if he's... I don't know if he's boosting the dire wolves or is he... Like, 
not boosting the dire wolves. Like, are you guys are you guys friends or no? Either way, I need to kill these dire wolves, which might be a little bit difficult. Oh, there we go. He gave me one of them, pretty much. He's looking like he's at low health right now, though. Can he even attack the dire wolves? Ah, uh, I don't think he attacks the dire wolves. He might die. I think he's gonna die here. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die here. Um, he doesn't attack the dire wolves apparently, and the dire wolves are just gonna eat him up. And I can't attack him on my wyvern because I'm gonna kill him in one hit. I would have to get like a really clean hit, but look at him. He's yeah, he was beaten. Yeah, there was no there was no way I was getting him from the, from there. Even if I would have shot him with the the dart, he might have just died from the dart hit. Honestly, which is which is fine. I mean, we found one. We can find another one just up there. Look, just another one. Let's upgrade your health some more. We're getting a lot of pelts from this, too. All right, what level is this one? Oh, there's a lot of commotion going on. Um, Where are you? Level 85. Not good enough. Not good enough. There's the alpha uh, dragon down there. There she is. Level, yep, level 100 alpha fire wyvern. That thing's gonna hit. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to prepare for that. That thing's gonna... That thing's gonna hit. Um, Well, we're, we're gonna go for it, though. Eventually, we're gonna go for it. For sure. None over here. I just need, like, two. Two high-level Uteranuses, and I'll be happy. I'll be really, really happy. Is that one? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, that's a magma, uh, manga, whatever you call them. I call them mangas. Those are mangas. Where are they? You know, I've noticed something. It's really weird. It's like different sections of the snow biome spawn different uh, dinosaurs. It's like one section will spawn the mangas and like those little poison little things. And then the other section will spawn the Uteranuses um, and Rexes and stuff, which is weird. I see Carnos, but I don't see a Uteranus. Um, there's one fighting a poison dude, which I think he just killed him. So that's promising. Level 50, I think. Yep, level 50. Looks cool. Green and blue, but low level. We can't have any low levels around here. We can't. I will pray for you, Mantis. You have this. Not Mantis, but Mammoth. You got this. Any other ones in the area? Did not mean to do that. No, there's got to be some. I'm just missing them. Once I find a high level one, I will catch you guys back. But we might be here for a while. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. We got two of them here. 145 UD. All right, I'm catch you guys back right now. Um, 145 UD and uh, Argentavis. Level 60. Okay, that one sucks. Let's... I'm actually going to just kill everything over here. Because that UD's all alone. And I don't want any of the dire wolves being dire wolves like last time, so. And I need some stamina. So we're just going to sit here and watch everyone go to war. While I collect my stamina and then we'll attack. All right, there we go. Nice. Now. Now I want to kill the Rex. Can I shoot the Rex from here? My aim. Horrible aim. Or maybe I could just shoot the Uteranus. Um, where's my crossbow? Did, 
Did I come over here all the way without a crossbow? Let me go get my crossbow. That's disgusting. Is it inside of my... Can I, like, get away with just using this bow? You guys think I could get away with just using this bow? It was a Mastercraft crossbow. But I do have the 10x. Torpidity. I kind of want to try it. What level is that, UD? Level 90. Not good enough. I think I'm going to try it. I, I, I think I'm going to try it. There's nothing here except a Rex that we can just kill. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. All right. Let's see. Not yet. Not yet. Just because the Rex is trying to kill us. And we need to kill him anyways. All right. You hurt. Uh, I don't know if he's going to try to attack me or attack my wyvern if I'm on my wyvern. So I got a little bit scared. But I shot him three times. I don't think he's hitting me. He is definitely hitting me. I shot you six times. That's like, that's like, that's the equivalent of 60 or wait. Yeah, 60 tranquilizer uh, arrows. Wait, did he fall? Wait, what? Oh, he did fall. Wow. Um, uh-oh. Fly up. Oh my god, I'm so glad I have, uh... I'm so glad I have a sign on Macrops. Wow. This thing is not going down. I have 14 left. Oh my gosh. I feel like if I had the Mastercraft on me, this would be fine. And me just missing. We have eight more. Uh-oh. Oh no, you just found a... Wait, are you running? Definitely running. Let me hit you like one more time, please. Fuck. Okay, I'm not going to be able to hit him one more time. I'm just going to hope we have four more arrows left. We know what general direction he went in. I'm just going to hope that, uh, excuse me. Let's see here. Don't tell me that's him. Oh my God, it is. Okay. Um, This could be risky, especially considering he's getting eaten alive right now. That was my last one. Oh, what? No, it wasn't. That was my last one. Leave my poison wyvern alone. Did he die? I'm tired of this. I'm so tired of this. How in the world? Because I'm pretty sure he died to the dire wolves, no? I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting eaten alive right now. What in the world? That this is way more difficult than I thought. I'm pretty sure he died to the dire wolves. We might actually have to make a trap. I'm thinking we'll have to make a trap for this just to make sure he doesn't run away like he kind of just did. Oops, did not mean to do that. Now I still don't know what level you are. Level 90. Yeah, we're going to have to make a trap. I will. I'm going to go re do some research, get some materials, stuff like that. I will catch you guys back whenever we figure something out here because that sucked. Level 145, Unoranus died to dire wolves. 
I did not think Uteranesis just didn't attack Direwolves and Direwolves just attacked Uteranesis. Like, that's... Is that supposed to happen? You know what I mean? But I will see you guys back in just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so I am back and you might have noticed something on the screen. We have a Uteranus taming right now. I decided to not actually go for the trap and um, I just went and just tried to find a Uteranus and uh, made myself, well, not really made, but I, I got my, my bow and my crossbow out the chest, uh, made myself up a lot of tranquilizer arrows, not the big ones. We only got the five times. I got some of the 15s cooking back home, but I didn't feel like waiting around for those. So I just grabbed these instead. Um, and they seem to put in some work. I'm gonna be honest. They seem to put in some work. Um, obviously, since we have ourselves a fresh uh, Uteranus level 145, uh, currently waiting for some food for us. I don't want to put it on me yet just because I'm a little bit scared in the area But uh, the sooner that I do this the better we're just gonna put a whole 470 uh, Stacks of prime meat on him. He should be good with just that and he's got a lot of food. Wow. What are you actually you are? Um, she's a female awesome. So we got ourselves a female uteranus. Uh, that is amazing now The only thing we need is a male uteranus and we should be good. I'm gonna make sure that she eats uh, looks like uh melee is your weakest that sucks but 25 health is good since we're going to be using her i thought i heard a rex uh so yeah 25 health isn't bad since we're going to be using for her um for for you know defense anyways to boost our rexes not actually to be attacking with um you know the the tankier and beefier we are the better uh versus actually dishing out damage since we won't actually be dishing out damage hopefully she eats here uh looks like she did um yep 25 or 30 She's at 30 uh, right now, but um, yeah, there's that. We need to get ourselves a male one because we do want to breathe them. So we're not done just yet. Our adventure still um, still continues. As you can see, we went really far. Like I, I was shooting her over here. There was like two Uranuses and they she just ran all the way down there, which was a pain. But at the end of the day, uh, we made it work. Now, the only thing we need is one more. Also, side note, look what I found. I found a level 145 alpha T-Rex, uh, which is actually insane. Something that I definitely won't be able to take down on my dragon. I tried to take down a level 25 alpha earlier and I got half health and he didn't. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to take down level 145 anytime soon. But there is a Uteranus up there and it's, and it's, it's getting dark. There we go. There's a Uteranus up here. What level are you? Level 85 female as well. Um, both of those are bad you're low level and you're not male so we definitely don't want you um hopefully we can find another uranus before the one that we're taming currently uh is able to wake up because for reasons that i don't even know why we will want that but we want it this is a nice open area an open area for some uteranuses that i don't see unfortunately i still gotta figure out which areas actually spawn them though because it, it it continuously feels as though that only certain areas actually spawn to Uranus and other areas just do not. And I don't know which ones. It's weird, but I definitely don't know which ones. Um, definitely. Wait, is that one? No. Wait, what? Yes, it is. I'm tripping. What level are you? Level one? Oh, just level 85. Okay. I thought I said one. One something, but no. Just level 85. Sadly, one of the cool things is I could just continuously shoot the Uranus. Um, without even having to worry about the uh, about the, the Carnos because the Carnos are gonna keep on trying to attack me while a universe what a UD runs away from being um from being torped which is uh, a little bit of a side note that I learned today I thought the Carnos was just gonna run after her um and I would just have to deal with it but apparently not apparently not here is one somewhere over here uh it's really dark over here. Oh, 145. It's a female, though. 145 female. Uh, it's not ideal. 145 is very ideal, but the fact that it's a female is not very ideal. Not sure if I want to go for her. Just to have another Uranus uh, with us. Well, there's two here, no? Which level is this one? This is hard. It's super dark over here. I can't see anything. The car no, that's a UD. That's a level 140 UD? No, that's a level 90. Okay, the car no. It's level 135, level 40 UD. Wait a second. Level, yeah, that's a level 140 uh, car no. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm, everyone. False alarm. We don't want her. 
we don't want her and that's a lot of stuff happening at one time so that's that would have been a pain uh to tame along with us not being able to see in that location anyways would be a pain to tame so maybe it's a good thing maybe it's a good thing um whenever i do find a uniratus though i will catch you guys back and then we can go ahead and tame her there might be one to my left hold up i'm seeing the little icons there's one it is a level 50 female okay yeah when i whenever i find another one i'll catch you guys back all right guys so i've been searching for a decently long time and apparently i even googled this apparently male uteranuses are rare okay apparently they're rare and you're more likely to find a female uteranus than a male uteranus so if you do find a male uteranus just tame it even if it's a low level and it's bad um and we found ourselves a carno but attached to that carno is a level uh 55 male uteranus so we're going to be trying to tame this um one is relatively in a good location already which is really good um we get our big bowls out and i mean it's only level 55 so i'm expecting this to be quite easy to be honest especially considering the bow that i have um the arrows are 5x arrows so each time i'm hitting this guy i'm pretty much hitting it five times essentially we're just gonna wait until it starts to run away um i wish i had the 15s or the, the 20s though to be honest um but oh there we go there we go there we go there we go one more hit nice get stuck in a rock uh i was trying to get that one in oh uh, come on stop running nice and she's down awesome so there goes our level 55 male uteranus this should be good enough and um the plan is pretty much just going to be breeding the male uteranus with the female uteranus and hopefully we can get a male uteranus with good stats and uh if we can then everyone will be happy at the end of the day right um let's go ahead and 35 should be good also i kind of lost uh where our other uniratus was i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys um i accidentally had um i accidentally claimed the tracker that i was using to even track where it was um so we're gonna be adventuring a little bit to figure out where it was exactly and uh yeah once they're both up i i'm probably gonna catch you guys back uh, it's gonna take us a while it's gonna take us a while to find out where this uh where, where she is um but you know look dragons um but yeah i'm gonna go find her i will be right back all right we're back at the base we made it through and uh yeah i ended up finding it took a while but i ended up finding our uh uteranus now the stats on this girl the stats are good okay i tell you look at these stats 44 44 health okay and the only thing matters on the uteranus is health because we're not gonna be using her for damage not gonna be using her for weight we're not gonna be using her for movement speed we're using her for a tank buffing dinosaur for our rexes which is uh the main reason why health matters so much just in case we start getting hit we could take a little bit you know what i mean we could take a little bit Ten thousand, uh, yeah ten thousand base health i just love it at one time to get it up to 12k or was it 11k it was 11k or 10k but either way a lot of freaking health now the only thing we need now my good friends this is where the juicy part comes in we need to start breeding and i want to get a high level male or a male with uh the same health stats as the female here and then we can start breeding up some really good dinosaurs now i'm i, I might actually even try to get uh try to get some super high level males out of this as well um i'm not sure if it'll work but there's only there's pretty much only one way to find out right um so yeah hopefully we can i need to first and foremost go ahead and create a uteranus saddle let's see it. you uh what do we need for this silica pearls uh and a lot of hide we need silica pearls i don't think i've actually you can't craft those no you can't wow um hmm. this is a problem we can still we can still breed them we just can't write them but this is a problem um considering we don't have silica pearls and we've never even farmed silica pearls um we can still breed them just like this so we should be fine but that's a problem uh it might be water time 
it might be water time i've we haven't we have yet to explore the water with the water right um so it honestly truly might be time to explore the water of arc to to get some silica pearls now there's um we already started just a little bit just very briefly we already started on uh our little bit of a water i guess army i suppose we have a lot of land dinosaurs but when it comes to water dinosaurs we don't have much we quite literally only have two which is two sarcos which i love my sarcos very much right love my sarcos very much this one's health horrible stamina good uh melee damage horrible not a very good sarco this one this is my first time looking at these by the way um it's pretty much even all over the place so we don't have the best sarcos it seems we definitely do not have the best sarcos it seems but these guys do deserve some levels get you up to 10k health Pump the rest into melee. We're probably going to do the exact same thing to you. There we go. On the bright side, I did end up getting a uh, Mastercraft Sarco Saddle, which is insane. This thing needs so much resources to make. Oh, my God. 3,000 hide, 1,000 fiber, and 300 cementing paste. That's actually pretty fucking insane. That it needs that many resources to make. I was not expecting it to need that many resources to make. Wow. Wow. Okay. I thought blueprints only use the like your base, whatever materials you need, you know, normally. I had no idea that um that was completely false. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what our situation is as far as uh as far as the water dinosaurs go unless there's a different way for us to get silica pearls because i know that you have to go underwater um and you have to like collect the little clam little situations there um other than that i'm not really sure what to do about this right now we could try to take a small little stroll hello and it's too cold of course we could try to take a small little stroll um across the the lands and see if we can just get lucky and find some silica pearls just chilling um and then do it that way possibly i'm gonna try that real fast so unfortunately i wasn't able to find any silica pearls i i looked and i looked across the like shoreline of where we live and uh i just wasn't able to find any so the next plan is to actually just go ahead and mount up one of our circles with the mastercraft um with the Mastercraft, let me actually keep that pump shotgun. With the Mastercraft saddle that we have here, we need a bunch of hide, which honestly, it's so good that we have so many resources. Like, uh, I was definitely not expecting that to cost so much. Like, that was, that's a lot of, uh, that's just a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of resources. Um, do, we, do any one of you have hide? This might be bad. We might not have any hide. Um... Where's my poison wyvern? Doubt my poison wyvern has any hide though. Let's see. Uh, 400? I don't know how much I actually needed. Let's see here. Uh, oh, 3,000. Yeah! We're gonna need a lot more than um 400. Uh yeah, we're gonna have to kill some stuff. Let's uh, what should we use to kill stuff with? Um, let's see. What's uh, let's use our let's use our thyla. Why not? Why not use our thyla? Might as well, right? Unless uh, right. Honestly, maybe we should use our rex. Just because we already have like a really really good rex, and I do need to level him up anyways. And I say that as if I haven't already started leveling him up. <laughs> um, but, I mean, we do have a 42 health, 40 melee Rex over here just sitting and chilling like a villain. Um, that's leveling up in 38,000 more experience with 36,000 health and 1,200 melee. But, you know, we might as well give him the 50,000 health. You know, why not? Why not? Go ahead and chiropod you, my friend. Um, I don't think there's any other Rexes. Uh besides this one, but other than that, yeah, let's have some fun on a Rex today. Why not? Let's go have fun on a Rex. Let's go terrorize other Rexes in the area. Teach them who's boss. You know what I mean? We really don't even need to tame any other Rexes. We do have a 40 4240 is gonna be 
like one of the best we're gonna get for a really long time um for sure now the rex won't be like you know it won't be able to solo alpha creatures but like still a good damn rex uh here we go this area seems whoops this area seems promising enough hello i'm gonna be taking your soul for mine if you don't mind or yours too that works Thank you. I'm going to need all your hide. I'm going to need 4,000 hide if, uh... Hey, Sabertooth! Sabertooth's I taking my meat! You took my meat, Sabertooth! It's extremely rude. Holy crap, we need a lot of hide. Maybe we should go after a Brontosaurus or something at this point. I'm not getting a lot of hide from, um from these creatures not as much as i need i do want to kill that t-rex over there though see how much high this t-rex gives me real quick i like how there's just a bunch of like dodicruses just chilling 300 hide it seems how much do we have now 800 not too good <laughs> if you're being honest not too great not too great at all um which is fine I wonder if I'm going to get more hide if I were to try to attack a Bronto or maybe even an alpha creature. I don't think we'll be able to take on any alpha, um, any alpha Rexes with this Rex. And I'm extremely scared to do so, even with 50,000 health, like I'm still extremely scared to do so unless it's a low level Rex. If I find a low level alpha Rex, I'll go for it. There's got to be a low, low Alpha Rex. Level 20. Level 20. I know there's an Alpha Rex over here somewhere, but I don't remember its level. At least I thought there was. Last time I checked, there was. Um. Neither one of you are Alpha, right? Yeah, you're just level 130, and you're just level 55. I promise you guys I've seen an Alpha Rex over here one, one day. But it seems like it's not here anymore. Sadly, uh, that sucks. I was really looking forward to that. Huh. Oh, never mind. Here it is. You are level 100. And yeah, we're not taking that on. Level 150. Alpha. Yeah. Yeah, we're not taking that on anytime. Um, we, we could get an army. We could get a nice, you know, 10 Rex army with the Uteranus to take it on, but we're definitely not going to be fighting. A level 150 alpha rex anytime soon not not solo not ever probably as far as solo goes not ever but there are a few brontos over there and uh, other juicy creatures that deserve to die so that's exactly what we're gonna do to get our hide especially this one that's already hurt and wounded Look at that, 200 hide. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Someone tells me that Alpha's trying to get up here for some reason. I hope not, but it's looking like it a little bit. Something wants me to test to see how much damage that Alpha creature does in one bite. Just to see, you know what I mean? Just to, you know? Curiosity. Curiosity has never killed the cat. That's some urban myth, I promise you. We still need like a couple of thousand more uh, <laughs> raw hide here. I think I will see on my wyvern, because on my wyvern I could just fly away. I definitely don't want to see on my Rex, because on my Rex, I won't be able to just fly away, right? Which is bad. Go. All right. Let's see just how much damage this level 150 Alpha Rex does to me. 621. That's almost a thousand per bite. Almost a thousand. Not exactly. Almost. 
I was expecting 1,000 per bite plus. 600 is not that bad, actually. Huh. My Rex does more, but I'm pretty sure that Rex has a lot more health than my Rex does. So that's what makes me a lot more nervous and scared. Um, yeah. We're still not going to go after that. Ooh. Triple Bronto's over here. I like it. Uh, I'm going to go over here because there might be even more. I remember there being like a lot of Brontosauruses over here in this area. See, this is why I need a farm. This is the this is one of the reasons why I need a farm for Hyde now. One of the reasons. We're going to have a electronics farm. We're going to have a chitin farm. Organic polymorph. And look at all those Brontos. Look at them. And we're going to have a hide farm eventually all these beautiful beautiful brontos just looking to die obviously now i'm the one i'm here to relieve you of your pain you're suffering of being stuck in this cavern all along all you beautiful brontos filling up my spawn pools not letting any other rexes spawn how dare you Giving me 200 hide per. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, realistically, I could just craft just a regular uh, Sarko Saddle and be done with this. But! What's the point of doing that when you gotta master craft one? Nice. Who are you yelling at? Uh, level 6, you didn't even get a chance. You didn't even have a chance. Oh, there's more over there. Mm. How much do we have so far, though? 14, 34. There we go. There's a couple of more and we should be good. I'm hoping these will do it for us. There we go. Nice. Last one. Well, not last one, but <laughs> second to last one. Might as well eat the Parasaur as well. Get that extra hide. Hello. There's a few of them over there too. These guys spawn like crazy. Jeez. All right. And how much? 4,000 it seems. Yep, 4,000. And there's an Alpha Raptor. I'm thinking we take on the Alpha Raptor. Alpha Raptor's looking a little crazy. I'm not liking how the Alpha Raptor's looking. Looking a little too crazy for my liking, if we're being honest. Leave my dough dickers alone. Heck yeah. What'd you drop me? Uh, nothing good. Some apprentice items. Nothing great. As far as hide goes, we're at 49. I want to get to 6,000. I want to say I needed 5,000 to craft it, but I just want to get to 6,000 just in case. There we go. And we'll just have this one be the last one. This should be good. Add that in. And 5,700 is uh, honestly good enough. That's good enough. All right, I'm going to go back home, get the saddle, and uh, I'll meet you guys back whenever that is done. Alrighty, so the Sacro saddle has been made, and I kind of want to see these guys in action. Um, I think we're not going to adventure in the ocean today, but we will in the upcoming episodes. But I do want to just take one of these Sacros and uh, take them to the farm and just see how good they are real quick. 
Which one is the most? Seven. Okay, so 10,700. 10,700. This one is 10,700. Um, 26, 28. This one is 31, 27. I think the 31, 27 is better in my opinion. Yeah. You're going to have that. And, and I'm going to do this. Because, uh, yeah, why not? And I'm just going to drop you right inside of where all the parasaurs are. And I'm going to hope that you live. If you don't live, that's your fault. If you die, that's your fault. But if you live, you will become a legend. A legend everyone will fear. Because you're the one that lived. All right. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Moment of truth. 162 DPS. However, the attack speed is not bad. You're getting knocked back a lot, my friend. Push forward. Uh, well, one of my parasols was killed by Diplo, apparently. At most definitely done diddly sucks. I thought it was one of the parasols here. I was gonna say, what? But yeah, that sucks. I don't know where he was anyways. Oh, well. Here we go. They're like stuck on each other. I was, I'm gonna be honest. I was expecting, uh, I was expecting Mr. Sarko to have more DPS. I was definitely expecting Mr. Sarko to have more DPS um, than just 160 something. Is 10,000 health fine? I'll put more into his DPS. Eh. I guess 200 is okay. And then we'll just do more into health next time. Little bit disappointed, but I guess that's just Sarko's. Maybe they're just not as strong as I anticipated. Oh, this one's doing 277 now. It's a lot better than the 160 from earlier. That's for sure. Huh. Not bad, Mr. Sarko. Not bad. I was expecting more, if I'm being completely honest. But, nevertheless, not bad, my friend. Not bad. Here is a little bit more damage. Maybe we'll get you up to 1k uh, percentage. But, um, but yeah. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching today's episode. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you guys look forward to more. Uh, today was a really productive day. We have ourselves two new Un Uranuses. Um, and um, we had some eggs, but... Uh, Where? What, what? There's an egg stuck in your butt, bro. How am I? There we go. What the heck was that? There's a whole egg just stuck in there. <laughs> There's a whole egg stuck in there. Wow. Can I know the levels of these guys? No? Okay, awesome. Can I drop them and know the level of them? Um. Uh, it doesn't tell me fascinating but we're going to hatch them regardless not today not right now but eventually they will be hatched uh but yeah say hello to my new friends our new friends um these these you know they're they're awesome they're pretty awesome um and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys next episode you have a great day